If you want to live your dream life, you need money. We all need money. And if there's one thing that wealthy people and, and, and rich people and successful people have in common, it is they know money management. They know how to acquire money. They know how to grow money. They know how to maintain money. They know the money rules. And the good news is you can apply these rules as well. And if you came to this channel, it's because you're ready for a career shift, a career change. You're ready to start your own business or, or another job or another career, but you will always need money. Maybe you want to turn your passion into income, but again, the word says it, you need income, you need money. And that's why I'm making more and more videos about career changes, but also about money because money is crucial. So let's dive right in into what are these rules. Rule number one, money is a game. Have fun playing this game. Like any other game, you play poker, you play Monopoly, you play any game, the more you play, the better you get at it, the more you win the game. Have fun playing this game. It's as simple as that. Have fun playing the money game. Number two, fatten your purse. Fatten your wallet. Make sure there's more and more and more money going into your wallet and going into your purse. And this is something that, again, a lot of wealthy people, I'm following Grant Cardone or um, T. Harv Aker, you know, the, the MMI intensive. I've did the workshops. You know, it's all about save at least 10% of the money you make. Save at least 10% of the money you earn at least, so 10% or more, you know, how, um, you know, they sometimes talk about jars, like you have all these jars, you know, spending jar and then a saving jar, an education jar, you know, but 10% at least, if you can more, that's better, 10% saving. Now, to do that, it might mean that you have to spend less somewhere else, but really take that rule and make sure you have a separate account, a savings account where you're like, okay, every time this is my amount that's coming in, first things first, 10% goes into that savings account, which means if you need to spend less on clothes or going out or parties or concerts or, or, or eating out, dining out, whatnot, hey, make sure you have these 10% whoops on the side right away. Over time, this 10% will accumulate, you know, and then there's a ripple effect and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger if you apply all the rules. Number three, do not hate money. Please don't hate money. This is huge. Your money mindset is huge. Maybe you grow up and hearing everything about, ooh, money is evil. Money is the root of all evil. Money is so difficult to get. It's so, you have to work so hard to earn money. And that makes you hate money or it makes you afraid of money. If you can identify your money mindset and how you were programmed to think about money, that awareness, you can then shift it into becoming positive about money, loving money, being a money magnet. I was the same thing. Like I was born and raised like, oh, money's hard to get. You have to work so hard. So what does that mean? You have to work so hard to get a little bit of money. That means you have to almost die to earn a lot of money. No way. But it's programmed into us from our childhood, from teachers, from, uh, you know, all the people that, you know, are around us. But no, if you love money, you can be that money magnet. It can flow easily and effortlessly from multiple sources of income. But it's here. It's those thoughts. The more you fear something, you avoid it. The more you hate something, you avoid it. And then how can money come to you if you're afraid of it, if you're pushing it away because it's evil? No, money is love, you know, money is love, money is energy, welcome it. Hey, I want more money, right? So be that money magnet and shift that mindset. Well, first of all, be aware of what mindset you have and then shift it into loving money. I'm a money magnet. Money is flowing into me easily and effortlessly from multiple sources of income. Ha, ah, money is amazing. I love money. Right? Number four, control your expenses. This sounds so logical, but still, a lot of people don't really do it. Control your expenses. You have to earn more than what you spend. I know, it's super logical. So why are sometimes people spending more than what is coming in? Think, 
Think about what you're spending your money on. Can you afford something? Then go for it. Can you not? Then don't do it. Why do you need that big expensive car? Because somebody else has a big expensive car? Why do you need a big five bedroom um, you know, house or home when you don't really need it? So remember the 10% rule. Don't touch that 10% and then from what's left of it, spend what you can spend and don't fly first class if you can't afford it. Don't go on holiday in a super luxury hotel if you can't afford it. I know it sounds logical, but I have to mention it because a lot of people are still spending way too much and then it's like, ooh, panic attack at the end of the month. I need my paycheck because I'm not gonna make it. Number five, play your money game, not someone else's. That means stop comparing yourself to others. If some people have more money than you, if they are a few steps ahead of you, they are spending money differently. They are maybe buying first class tickets or business tickets. Maybe they are spending, um, you know, at more luxury items. That doesn't mean it's, it's you. Don't copy them. They may be a few steps ahead of you. You're not there yet. Play your own money game. Focus on your goals, your vision, your expenses, your budget and you will grow as well. Maybe a few steps behind somebody else, but definitely a few steps ahead of others. But don't start comparing yourself to others or try to spend what others are spending. It's gonna, you're gonna crash. You know, if you don't have the money to spend on a luxury item, don't do it. If somebody else does it, fine. I don't care if people, you know, spend so much money on luxury holidays and vacations and hotels. I don't do it. I've been in a lot of luxury hotels and places and locations, but it was all paid for me. Don't try to compare yourself to others. Stay in your lane and play your own money game. Number six, befriend money makers. This is also so important. Be friends with people with money. You wanna make more money, go and make friends with people who make more money. If you're, if you're surrounded by people who are, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, who are struggling with money all the time, who, you know, or maybe who hate money, who are afraid of money, you will stay in that kind of zone and bubble and you will not be inspired to make more money. You will not, you know, even think about opportunities because you're, you're constantly in these conversations and people, you know, with, with, with struggle about money and unlimited amounts of money. Surround yourself with people with who are making money, who are growing money, who know how to deal with money. Get inspired by them. See the opportunities they're seeing. Like, it, it's amazing how that changes. It's not just with money, but with anything in life. If you want to be somebody else, if you want to change into a new career, which is if you came to this channel, really what you're all about, you, you know you want to change something, well then go and surround yourself with the people who already have those few steps ahead of you, who have already made that change because you want to become more like them. And I had a client like that and she she was, um, I don't know, it was about 2000 a month that she was making and she was talking to friends and family and you know people around her and then for them, 2000 money was, oh, it was a lot of money. 2000 a month was a lot of money, but she had a goal and a dream of making 10,000 a month. But saying those numbers to those people was like, are you, I mean, crazy? Are you crazy? It's not possible. Of course it's not possible because they're stick to that. They're, for them, 2000 was huge. So when I then said, well, you can make 10,000, she was like, but no, I can't because she's constantly in that mindset of limits and, and 2000 is really the limit. Once she was more surrounded with, with people who are making even more money, like a few months later, she was making 7,000. Why? Because it's like I pushed her and, and other people were like, well, it's possible for you, but you cannot open those eyes if you're always with those same limited people, if I, if I want to put it that way. Number seven, make thy gold multiply. And here's what wealthy people do. It's not just keeping that money in a bank account and in a savings account, but multiply it. See, if you have money in a savings account, what? it's not growing. It's just laying there in a dark, cold room. No, you need to play with the money. You need to have joy with the money. You need to make money work. You need to make money grow. How do you do that? By investing it. You can invest in stocks, in funds, in real estate. 
invest your money so that it can multiply. Now, having said that, warning, do not take risks. You know, invest in something like metals, gold, silver. If you don't know enough about stocks, don't go there. Leave that to the specialists and the experts or go and study it. But for now, make sure you invest in something that's not risky because if there's one thing, a rule I didn't mention, but it has to be super clear, do not lose money. Save money, invest in money, do never lose money. So if you take risks in stocks and investments that are too risky, you're gonna lose money or you risk losing money. You don't want that because then you're like way further behind. So invest so that money can raise in value, especially in real estate. You buy something now, but in 10 years, it's worth so much more. So yes, it's not a get rich quick thing. It's not like, oh, I'm investing in a house right now or in a piece of land right now, and tomorrow it's gonna be more valuable. No, but you invest in it now, and in 10 years or even in five years, it's gonna increase in value. You sell it and boom. And that's what all these big investors do. That's how they multiply their money and their gold. I wanna end with a bonus. And the bonus is that making money is the result of success. And success is in direct proportion of the value you offer to people. The value meaning a service or a product. And this is something that I listen to Earl Nightingale day after day actually, and he mentions this, and this is such a, a, a truth. It's, it's, it's it just, you really have to grasp it. Like the value you give to people, the service that you offer, the product that you offer, that will make you successful and that will lead to money. And a lot of people have this rule backwards. It's like the man sitting in, in front of the stove and saying, well, I want heat first and then I'll add the wood. No, you add the fuel and then you get heat. That's how it works. So don't have it backwards. Give value because that's in direct proportion of success and that will lead to money. That is it. I hope you apply these rules. Make sure to check my next video, which is about how money can or cannot buy happiness. And make sure you check the description below. You hit the like, you hit the subscribe if you like this video, of course, and comment below, like what's your takeaway? What's your rule of money? How are you applying these rules into your life? Comment below, please. And um, I'll see you next week.